Welcome to Channel Cikgu Aho. Today we are going to learn the topic of solution of triangle, which is one of the chapter in KSSM Form 4 or KSPSM Form 4. Subtopic that we learn for today is sine rule. By the end of the lesson, the students should be able to apply sine rule in the given triangles. When can we use or apply the sine rule? The sine rule is used to solve triangle when two angles and the length of one side are given or the length of two sides and one of the angle which is not the included angle are given. For any triangle ABC, the sine rule is to use to find the length of sides and to find the angles. A over sine A equal to B over sine B and equal to C over sine C. This formula is to find the length of side. While to find the angles, we can use the formula which is sine A over A equal to sine B over B equal to sine C over C. How we use the sine rule? A over sine A equal to B over sine B equal to C over sine C. The small letter of A refer to the length of the side, while the capital letter of A refer to the angle of A. Small letter of B refer to the length of the side of B, and the capital letter of B refer to the angle of B. Small letter C refer to the length of the side of C and capital C refer to the angle C. What is non-included angle? Non-included angle is the angle that color in green. When given length of side X and length of side Y, the non-included angle is the one color in green. Non-included angle means that is the opposite angle to the given side. Let's look at the example. Diagram shows a trapezium KLMN. KN is parallel to LM and LMN is obtuse angle. Find the length in centimeter of LN. Refer to the triangle LNK given that's given two angles and one side. Therefore, we can use sine rule to solve these questions. To get the LN, LN over sine 80 equal to 12.5 over sine 32. Ln will be equal to 12.5 sine 80 over sine 32. Therefore, the answer for Ln is equal to 23.23 cm. Look at the second example. Diagram shows triangle SPR and triangle QPR where PR is equal to 5.5 cm, SP is equal to 7 cm, and RPQ is equal to 50 degrees, and angle RQP is equal to 48 degrees. Given that the area of triangle PQR is twice the area of triangle PSR, calculate the length of PQ. To get the length of PQ, from the given diagram, we are noticed that the triangle of PQR, the information given is two angle and one side. Therefore, we can use sine rule or we can apply sine rule to find the length of PQ. Therefore, PQ, before we get the length of PQ, we have to get the angle of PRQ. 
to get the angle of PRQ is equal to 180 degree minus 50 degree minus 48 degree. Therefore, angle PRQ is equal to 82 degree. To find your uh, to find the length of PQ, PQ will be over sine 82 and equal to 5.5 over sine 48. Therefore, PQ is equal to 5.5 sine 48 over sine 82. The length of PQ is equal to 7.329 cm. Let's look at another example. Determine the values of Q and R of the following triangles. From the diagram, it's given that side of 12 cm and 8 cm. Given length of two sides and one of the non-included angle. Therefore, we can use the sine rule to find the value of Q and the value of R. From the given information, we can manage to find the angle of Q, then only can find the length of side of R. To get the, length, uh, to get the angle of Q, we are applying sine Q over 8 equal to sine 100 over 12. After we solve it, we are managed to get the angle of Q, which is equal to 41.04 degree. Before we get the length of R, we have to find the angle of R. To get the angle of R, we are using 180 degree minus 100 degree and minus 41.04 degree. Therefore, our angle R is equal to 38.96. After we manage to get the angle of R, we can apply the sine rule to find the length of side of R. Therefore, R over sine 38.96 is equal to 12 over sine 100. Lastly, our answer will be managed to get R equal to 7.663 centimeter there's another example determine the values of r and p of the following triangles from the given diagram the information given are given two lengths and one of the non included angle therefore we are using sine rule to solve these questions First of all, we have to find the angle of R in order for us to find the length of P. To get the angle of R, R will be over sine R will be over 27.2 and equal to sine 105 over 34.3. Therefore, our angle R is equal to 50 degrees. Before we proceed to get the length of P, we have to find the length angle of P. To get the angle of P, we have to use 180 minus 105 and minus the 50 degrees. Therefore, the angle of P is equal to 25 degrees. After we get the angle of P, we can proceed to get the length of P by applying the sine rule. P over sine 25 is equal to 34.3 over sine 105. Therefore, our last answer of the length of P is equal to 15.01 cm. That's all for the lesson. Hopefully, all of the students who are watching this video can understand better on how to use sine rule and when to use sine rule to solve problems involving triangles. Video coming up next will be ambiguous case. This mind map can help to give an overview for the topic of solutions of triangles. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe my channel. See you soon.